The aim of the game is to design your own city and keep your residents happy. Initially, you're allocated the capital city, but as the game progresses, you can unlock different themed lands. I do a short video on each. The city is made up of residential zones, factories, where you produce industrial items, and commercial factories. You also have to balance your city with services and of course you can unlock parks, landscapes and other specialist buildings. In order to build your city you have to match the items displayed on the workman's hat. This indicates that the build is ready for development. The items required are produced in your factories and those products can be used as they are or converted into another product in your commercial buildings. This will take yet more time. Items are free to develop, but each takes time to produce. So if you need to produce items faster, you need Epic tokens or SIM cash. Each item takes a different length of time to produce. For example, iron takes one minute, whereas an electrical component takes up to seven hours. Each item has a varying value in simoleons and can be sold to other players. Production of some items is therefore preferred if you know you get a high value return. The city has different zones according to the type of residential building you select to build. So I've got an Amiga zone, a Latin America zone, a London zone, a Paris zone and a Tokyo zone. I am rerouting my Tokyo zone to Cactus Canyon land and also the Parisian zone to Green Valley. To upgrade these foreign buildings you require special items which you can earn by doing deliveries via the airport. Amiga buildings have their own special category of item that is produced in the Amiga Labs. It costs 7,000 simoleons to produce a canister which then has to be produced in the research lab. You also have the mountain ranges which are unlocked with mountain items. You can see across the top and also beaches which can be unlocked with special beach items. They're developed to increase nearby populations. All features that I have unlocked are the cargo ship port, the Neo Mall, the View Disaster Tower, the Global Trade Centre, where you can bid on items the other players are selling, and the Trade Depot where you can upload items that you want to sell. Building the population is great, but of course it's a vicious circle in terms of how many services you then need for the greater the population you have. The more houses you build, the greater the population and the greater need for services such as power, water, sewage and waste management. You also require fire stations, clinics and police coverage of residential areas. If you don't provide the services the Sims are asking for, they will abandon the building. This means that your population will decrease, you'll be unable to upgrade that building and you won't get any revenue in taxes. You can leave the complaints only so long if you want to develop, but it's challenging to keep on, on top of the population growth. And this is just showing where the roads are becoming congested. You've seen me improve the ones that are highlighted red. These complaints look like this. They tell you what they're unhappy about. Here it's a traffic jam or no drones. I resent this aspect of the game which is designed to tax you at random. The most expensive road I had to improve was 17,000 simoleons. Here I'm going to improve the police zoning areas. Uh, you can see the areas that are in green are those that are protected by the police, fire or health. Uh, so I've just um, brought one of the houses within a police area. You can see that my city is pretty well developed. 
I am, if you can look in the top left hand corner, I am level 76. This is the highest ranking player currently playing this game, which means I've earned the most points internationally from developing properties. Therefore, I thought you would probably want to take a look at what the game looks like to begin with and how you develop your city. I've just unlocked a new land by hitting my population target and I've chosen to unlock Frosty Fords as I won uh, a lot of Christmas winter related properties which haven't really worked in the desert. I want to utilise them here. Just to finish off and prove that I am the ultimate mayor, I have filmed the unveiling of the ultimate mayor statue. This costs 250 platinum keys, which is the grand prize in the highest league of the contest of mayors. These are rare and difficult to collect up without entering into competitions. This demonstrates I am the ultimate mayor.